One of the things I love about building websites today is that they are so dynamic. Sometimes you might have something with one layout and sometimes you might need that same content to show on your website but with a different layout. And this is really what I love about Webflow. And you see, sometimes our clients have come to us and I don't know if you have ever experienced this, they might tell you something like, hey Leo, or hey, um, your name. Um, you know, I have this layout that I'm using to post on my website, but there are certain times that I feel like the layout doesn't really work with the content I'm sharing, but I don't wanna get rid of the other one. I just want to have a new one. Or well, for example, let's say something like what we are building when we have our tutorials. There are certain tutorials that may need to have, uh, you know, specifically out like image content, image content and so on. But then there are some other tutorials that may just be a lot of content or maybe just one video. So how can you do this? Well, with Webflow, it's actually really, really easy because Webflow allows us to create dynamic pages with our very own custom layouts. And you can actually do that in about three minutes. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Now that we are on my computer, the first thing that we want to do is we, I'm going to go here for the project and this is just a template I took from Flugbase. Um, if you haven't checked them out, make sure to check them out for all different like um, templates and elements that you might need to use during a Webflow development project. So once we click it, we give it a moment for it to load. And as you can see, this is just the design they, um, I took from the template, just change a few things. And the only thing I created and you should have created by now is your blog post CMS collections. So if we have here, we have um, five of the different blog posts that Webflow gives us as um, sort of like a mock-up per se. So then what I did is I went here and I cre created a blog post template. And this is sort of like the main template that I have right now. It's just an image, some content here. Um, sorry, not content, the headline, time. Or dates and then content for the layout for the blog post so what we're gonna do now is that we want to make sure that you have we have two designs for this available so what we're going to do is we're gonna click back to our CMS collections we are gonna click on blog post on the settings tool here and then we want to add a new field and this new field is what is going to allow us to be able to create two different templates so we click add new field we want this to be an option field so that we can have the um, ability to choose between layout one or layout two so we're going to click that and we're going to entitle this layout so we um, just in case we're not the only ones editing the website we want to make sure that the user knows that this just um we want to make sure the user knows that this is where they choose a layout choose a layout and then we want to have oops and then we want to give it option one which is the one that we're currently using and option two which is the new one that we're going to be creating and then we're going to click save field and we want to make sure that that layout option is right on top so that whenever they are editing new blog content or anything like that that's one of the first things they see so that's about it of what we have to do in this cms collection we head back to the blog post and what we're going to do now is that we're going to come here and we're going to say that this section with layout one as I have it here um, we're gonna come here on the settings tools and we're going to say that we only want to show this layout if the layout option is equal to option one so if right now because we don't have a set of anything it just would not show so in order for us to be able to see the content that we have here we're gonna head back to our CMS collection and I believe it's this one and we're simply going to choose option one as our layout and we're going to click save but then um, let's choose why we love webflow as an option two i'm going to click save now we're heading back to our layout and now you can see it here but if we click on why we love webflow you will not see anything so right now we don't have a layout for layout two so what we're going to do is that we're going to just go ahead and um, go back to the other blog post that we have layout for and we're going to create a new div 
and we're gonna add a new div block and we can just call this one layout 2 and pretty much you can just drag and drop whatever you need from here into this one so if you need this we will just go ahead and add it here but let's say in this one we just don't want to have an image we just want the text so we're gonna go here and we have now layout 1 on top here and layout 2 here right so we now have to see that we only want to show layout 2 if the layout 2 option is chosen so we go back to the settings tool we head over to our conditions we click the add symbol we look for layout up layout and then we click option 2 so now you should not be able to see this one but if we change to let's say the other one that we created so let's exit here go here white will of webflow you should be able to see um the, the different layout the one that where we remove the image from it and that's pretty much it now you can have multiple layouts as much as or as many as you need and this doesn't only have to be on blog posts this can be in different um cms collections that you create and this way you will be able to control the way your website looks the, the way the different dynamic content shows on your website and now you're going to be able to create different layouts that may serve different purposes or even do some A-B testing to see which blog posts or which content is working better on your website and which layouts are actually creating more of an impact to your users and improving the user experience of your website. So I hope you found this content helpful and one of the things I'm trying to do with these tutorials is to sort of bring like real life experiences when it comes to working with Webflow or with WordPress, things that your clients might actually ask you for like the layout for example we actually just did something like that for a client who is a fashion blogger and she wanted to have different layouts for her blogs because one of them have a lot more content than the other one and then there's one layout that she already had that was an amazing looking layout but it wasn't working when you had a lot of content so what we're doing is we're creating um, tutorials like this or things that our clients are asking for things that a client will most likely ask you for so you don't have to figure out how to do all this you can either come here on youtube or you can go on my website and you will be able to find this and many more tutorials so before you leave make sure to hit the subscribe and the bell button so when i post another video like this you get a notification and i will see you again in the next video